we are actually going to study about the control statements in C++. So control statements are used when we want to change the way of execution of a program. Suppose we have some conditions in our program and we have to change the way the program is currently executing. If a condition is met, I need to do something. If a condition is not met, I need to do something. For that kind of instances, we are using control statements. So we will be having a detailed look into control statements and the type of control statements. Then you will get more idea of what is meant by control statements. So talking about the control statements in C++, there are mainly two types of control statements. One is if statement and other is switch statement. And here you can see more of if statement, like there are few variants in if statement. That's actually these uh, statements. If else, nested if and if else if. So they are the variants of if statement. And next is switch statement. We will be going into deep to each of this. So let's move on through that. So what is the use of if statement? You can clearly see over here. So if statements are used when we want to have, if we have some condition, then if that condition is true, then if, we, if I want to do something, then it will go to the true part of the if statement. And after that, it will go to the next statement. So it, this will happen only if that condition is met. So if it is not true, if the condition is not true, it will go down and execute the next statement. This block will not be executed. So wh why we use if is like if I have some condition, suppose if I have a condition like this, let me go back. Let me get the laser pointer for you, yeah, pen for you, then I am going to help you out. So, in a situation like this, if value of A greater than 5, then print C out A, else don't C out A, that's my condition. So, what if a, like we will be giving a value of A equal to 3. Now see what will happen. If a equal to 3, then next statement is if a greater than 5. So 3 greater than 5 is false. So it will skip the entire of these statements and go to the statement outside this if block. But consider a is 9. Then this condition is true. So then it will print 9. Because this will go to the if block. So what happens to the if block? Only if condition is met or condition is true, that block will be executed. Else, it will go to the next statement. So in C++, how you can use if statement? This is the syntax. If keyword, then put the condition in a bracket, then true block. The next variant of if is if else statement. So it's also similar to if, but the main difference is if the condition is met, it will execute the true block. If the condition is not met, it, it will execute the else block. So suppose if this is the case, if that number, if A is greater than 3, then print A, else you have to print C out A not greater than 3. This is a scenario. So I will be giving A equal to 2. Then what happened? If A equal to 2, this condition is 2 greater than 3, which is false. So this block will not be getting executed, but it will go to the next block and it will execute that next block that is a is not greater than 3 suppose if it is 9 or 8 so a is 8 then this statement 8 greater than 3 will be the statement so it is true so it will execute c out a that will print the value of a that is 8 but the else statement will not be executed so here in the flowchart also it's clear 
so if the condition is true then that true block is executed else the else block is executed and then it moved to the next set of statements now we have if else if statements so this is also similar to if statement but we can give multiple conditions so if a condition is met then that conditions if block will be executed then we have else if we can give another condition if this condition is not true it will check this condition and if it is true then it will execute that block then if both of these conditions are not true then it will execute the else statement so multiple levels of else if is possible like if one condition is not met you can check another condition again you can write one more else if and write another condition and check it similarly you can have multiple conditions and if any of these conditions are met that will be executed if not met the last else block will be executed we will see this program in action to understand the concept concept of if statements so here you can see the um, this one also flowchart also so it will execute test the condition if it is true it will execute that conditions body if it is false it will text test the next expression and then it is if it is true it will execute that body else it will again go to the condition check if there are multiple uh, like if if a statements coming up this will go on like this so if it is the final uh, else if uh, condition we are checking if it is not true then it will go to the else statement 